Hello and welcome to our classic ebulliometry video. This is a classic Dujardin Saleron ebulliometer. It is made up of a boiling chamber, a cooling chamber, and it comes equipped with a thermometer, a burner, a measuring flask, and the calibration and results indicator dial. Let's start by setting it up. We connect the cooling chamber to the boiling chamber first. We are ready now to have our first calibration run. In order to calibrate our apparatus, we need to determine the boiling point of distilled water. This step is absolutely mandatory and has to be done every time we run alcohol analysis on our ebulliometer prior to running any samples. We start by measuring the proper volume of distilled water using the measuring flask included in the kit. We fill the flask to the lower line, which indicates the required volume for water. We make sure the evacuation spout is closed, then pour the water in the boiling chamber. Make sure to use the correct inlet. When running our calibration, we do not need to add cold water to our cooling chamber. Light up the burner and place it underneath the spout of the boiling chamber. Place the thermometer in the same inlet you used for pouring in your water sample. The water will soon start boiling and the temperature will start rising in your thermometer. Once the temperature is stable for 30 seconds, you are ready to record it and set your dial. In our case, the temperature is 98.5 degrees Celsius. On the dial, we line up our temperature 98.5 to the symbol with a circle and arrow. We are now ready to run our first wine sample. First, we rinse our boiling chamber with a little bit of wine from our wine sample. Make sure you have a waste beaker placed underneath the spout and that the spout is open. Tilt your ebulliometer slightly forward so that the boiling chamber is completely drained. Close the spout and proceed to measuring the proper volume for your wine sample. Using the measuring flask again, we fill it to the upper line, which indicates the required volume of wine. We can now pour our sample into the boiling chamber of the ebulliometer. We now add cold water to our cooling chamber. Make sure you fill it all the way to the top. Now place the thermometer on top of the boiling chamber. Light up your burner and place it underneath the boiling chamber. You are ready to do your reading once the sample has been boiling and the temperature has stabilized for more than 30 seconds. Our wine boiling temperature today is 90.1 degrees centigrade. Going back to our dial, we find our wine boiling temperature on the inner circle and match it with our alcohol concentration on the outer circle. In this instance, the alcohol concentration is 11.5% alcohol by volume. 
we can now get our ebulliometer ready for the next sample. First, we turn the burner on. We now can evacuate our sample through the evacuation spout into a waste beaker. Time to remove the thermometer. Carefully drain the cooling water into a sink. Now rinse your boiling chamber with distilled water. Tilt the boilometer slightly forward to make sure the boiling chamber is completely drained. You are now ready for your next sample. And this is it for our classic ebulliometry video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful.